So we're on vacation, and as you can see by my pickup at a motel, instead of our motorhome at a campground, it's not going according to plan. Because as you can see right here in our motorhome, and yes, I teleported back home, the tires on this thing are rotten apart and the sidewalls are splitting open on it. You see right there where it says hand cook on these tires that are date coded 2020. Right around where it says hand cook, the tires are completely splitting apart all the way around, especially down here where it's got the bulge on it. We ain't driving on that. Even worse, it's doing it on the front tires up here. Look at that. Right around every letter of the name, sidewall splitting open, all of these right here, all the way around the tire. And down here, just right through the middle of it. All cracking apart. I don't know, a lot of people are gonna say, Casey, well you leave an RV sitting out in the sun, you're supposed to cover the tires, that's what they do. Well, it's not that, because even the inside tires on the side of the duels are doing the same thing. And those tires are date coded 2020, the RV's at 21, tires are made to 20, that makes sense. But what gets me, these tires on my old trash trailer right here, these are date coded like 1847 or something like that. Sidewalls are just fine. And I know you guys know what I was doing when I pointed out how those hand cooked tires were splitting right around the hand cooked name and said hand cooked multiple times in this video. But that's not to totally dig on hand cook because on this truck, I run hand cooked tires as well and I really like these ones. See, hand cook. These ones have been really good. I've ran multiple sets on this truck. Really happy with them. Also, you can see I still have these ones studded and it's after April 1st because I let the weather decide when I take the studs out of my tires, not an arbitrary date on the calendar. And since it snowed this morning and there was ice on the roads and a bunch of people crashed, I feel like that was a good decision. But these hand cooked tires here, terrible. All six of them on this thing. Like I said, including the inner duels in there that never see the sun. And obviously, I'm not going to risk putting my family in a vehicle like this, especially a top heavy and big vehicle like this on those tires and driving across the state for a vacation. We just couldn't do that. So we pulled everything out of this RV and we put it all in this pickup because we told our daughter that we were gonna take her to the aquarium for spring break and we were gonna make that happen one way or another. So enough about these sketchy hand cooked RV tires that rotted apart for no reason. And let's head to the coast and see the joy and wonder of a child at the aquarium. Ra, you excited for the aquarium? Yeah. I should have totally filmed sunset from our balcony because we had a great view of the sunset from our balcony. But I didn't do that because I was too busy making a short. 
about all the people filming the sunset from a balcony. So now me and Miss Riley are heading down to the front desk to go raid the candy jar. <laughs> what are we going to do? Go back and change clothes so they think I'm not the same kid. And then go back for a second time? Uh-huh. You're so sneaky. <laughs> I don't know where she got it from. You. Hey. <laughs> okay. Shh. Where's the candy at? You think you can get it? Down these stairs? Go. I'll wait here because I'm too big. They'll see me. Let's go down, let's ask for trash bags for our room, and they won't even know it's the same kid because you took that off, and then we'll grab some more, okay? You know there's a camera right there. Oh man. Did they get us busted or no? Not yet. All right, let's go. Uh, Did our plan work? I How many did you end up with? Um, three plus four, seven. Nice, good job with the math too. Give me five. <laughs> All right, wanna put that back on before we walk outside? Mm -hmm. Like and subscribe. After that, we headed to the zoo. Is that emu with a pig? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I'm scared of it. Oh, look at that pig. Oh. Did you do this? I did. Is that you? That emu scares me too. <laughs> All right, he's gone. Be the pig. Try the other one. Does that one mean? Yeah, don't bother that one. That's what he said. Oh, here he comes. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Done. What's wrong? <laughs> Here's your guinea pigs. Wait, I accidentally gave them to. Okay, one. Hey, Bri. Oh. There was a sign up front where if you give these people $20, they'll let you just take one of these home. What? How much money do you have? I don't. Five. Oh, that means you can only take one of its legs. Only 20 bucks a piece. You could try them out here and then pick which one you like. I have $20 no. to not Can take I have one. that one, Daddy? What do you want to do, Ray? Take a guinea pig home. Oh, I, I just said what the sign said. <laughs> Egyptian cobra venomous. Venomous? Venomous Indian cobra. Does uh, does that have to be It's okay, they're in a cage. There's a rattlesnake down here. There's a rattler. And mommy, how did they get these in here? Death King Beetle? Watch your step, tortoises on floor. What? Tortoise on floor? Hey, Ray, you want to know something crazy? Look at all these buckets full of snakes just sitting here. Snake shed? No, look at actual... And these are snake sheds? No, they're, they're actual snakes. No, these are snakes that shed? Yeah, well, these snakes did shed, but look, they're in there. I'm assuming you will not be getting reptiles. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't smell nothing? You should take that snake off for dogs. He's stuck. I heard that. He's stuck. Oh no, he's too big. Right, Cascade Heavy Rescue's got to do recovery. A tortoise is stuck. Use that as a winch line. Can we yank him rope a tortoise? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is he jammed up? Go backwards, tortoise. Go backwards. Go All right, back. you got him out with your advice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know how to fix any problem with tortoises. That's your kid. <laughs> oh my god, that one. Like, ooh. oh, that one looks careless if you don't want to know. If you do want to know, that one just. Station. Oh, he's going to check you out, guys, first. Jerry likes people. Hi, Jerry. Doesn't like other slots. That's why we have it. Jerry. He likes people. So you go check you guys out first. Hello. We're nice. Yeah, right. There you go. Now you can pet him right here. There you go. Aww. See if he'll hold my hand again. There you go. <laughs> Said, so bring your hand closer, please. <laughs> Got it. Good boy. So that was definitely the smallest and strangest zoo I've ever been to in my life. Uh, we had our house when we first walked in, but it ended up being a really cool place, a pretty fun experience. Uh, got to pet a sloth, something I never thought I'd ever get to do in my life, and Riley got to feed him. His name was Jerry, super cool dude. But as far as this RV, uh, I had these tires fixed. So I'm gonna pull them all off of here. I think take just the tires uh, up to Davis Towing and Tire uh, up in Sisters, Oregon. They ordered a new set of tires for this. They got them on the way, should be here tomorrow. Uh, I'm just going to jack the thing up on its jacks, pull the tires off and take those instead of dealing with taking the whole RV. I know you're not supposed to jack it up on its jacks and leave it like that, but when we camp in this thing, it's all up in the air on its jacks anyway, so it'll be fine. So, so we're back and we got the new tires on the RV. I'll show you on the front one here, which is easier to see. We want the more like all-terrain type of tread here. Not that this thing's going off-roading, but we do take it out a bunch of forest service roads. Uh, out across the desert and drive it into bad weather. So it's not a pavement princess at all So we ditched the highway tire idea. I got these on here big. Thank you to art and Kathleen and mark Up there at Davis tire for getting them swapped out mainly Kathleen because she's the boss uh, But to say a lot happened from the last time you saw me here to today Would be an understatement uh, for starters This is a week from the last time you see me when I took those tires up and dropped them off at a uh, Davis tire not that they took so long they had them all mounted balanced ready to go the next day I just got so busy I didn't even have time to go pick them up and uh, 
in the meantime that whole thing about it'll be fine sitting on the jacks it was not fine so that's a whole nother video that i will put a link to at the end of this video where things just went bad and i had an rv disaster on my hands so while i sit here and try to bend this jack back straight with the zack lift there uh, i'm gonna let you guys go back over to newport and check out the ripley's believe it or not museum as well as the newport harbor and then uh, we'll see you back here in a bit that's looking good how much is it going to spring back a little bit we got to go some more we're going to pull until it sounds expensive yikes the RV back in its spot jack straightened out and as you saw lucked out with a beautiful day on the coast so now what we're gonna try to do fire up our leveling system here and see if it works we're just gonna press auto level jacks are cut all four are coming down except for that one back there that stopped coming down I think it waits till these ones hit, and then it should stop, and then it should switch to those ones. It's gonna do one of them, two of them are coming. The passenger side is going. It's gonna take pressure, should switch to driver's side, which it's doing. Now all four are on the ground, and it should level this thing out and stop. Should be checking, make adjustments. A little more. We wait for the beep, beep, beep from that thing that says it's done. It's lifting up a good bit on the back, which I want it to do because that's the part I'm concerned about. All the suspense is killing me here. Tires off the ground. Those ones are still on these ones are just ever so in the air let's go check the jacks at the back that one i think can be bent out a little more then i think we're good what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to build some collars that like you know take a piece of pipe that just fits around that main body of the jack split it in half with a flange bolted together on each side and then a cross brace that goes up to the top area of the jack up in there and do the same from that side so they have cross bracing in them that clamps onto them and holds them, you know, this way so it doesn't happen again. 
Okay, I chickened out and put a pad under there so it's actually sitting with some weight on the tires like it's supposed to be. Because how you're actually supposed to use these systems is you level the RV by driving on these blocks or whatever and getting it sitting basically level. Then use the jacks to just stabilize the suspension and do the little tweaks as needed. You're not supposed to like pick it up and move it over and all that stuff with them. I know that. I wasn't doing that, so we're good. But either way, we have new tires on the RV. Big thanks to Davis Towing and Tire for that. Um, everything is straightened out. We didn't damage the RV. The leveling system works just as crappily as it did before. I was able to fix my little RV disaster without it costing me any money. It's the important part. I guess unless you count the wood blocks and the Harbor Freight Jack and the quarter million dollar piece of equipment that I needed to fix my little screw up there. So now that that's done, on to the most important part of this whole trip. See, we did this trip over Easter weekend and, well, into the weekend of the weekend. And the two things my daughter wanted to do on her vacation was one, go to the aquarium, which we did. Two, have an Easter egg hunt at the beach. So the plan was take the RV out to the campsite that we reserved and then hide Easter eggs around so my daughter gets to wake up Sunday morning, hunt for Easter eggs with a view of the beach. Obviously the whole RV thing didn't work out, but luckily I have an absolutely amazing wife who can pull off miracles at the drop of a hat. One being getting us that motel room same day as we were driving over there in the pickup. Two being packing everything we needed out of there into my pickup and turning that hotel room into a child's dream Easter. And my daughter was able to get up, eggs hidden everywhere, hunt for Easter eggs, find candy, do all the things with the beautiful view out the window of the beach. And it was also a really good lesson for my daughter that just because things don't go your way or don't turn out quite how they're supposed to, you can still turn it around, have a great time, and enjoy it. So the last little clip of this is going to be my daughter doing a little bit of Easter egg hunting. We had another great day at the beach. Made it back home. RV's ready for the next one. Thank you guys for coming along on this one. Massive thank you to my wife for pulling a rabbit out of the hat and making this whole adventure work. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.